Hey guys, welcome to the next episode of Saving Chivas. And today, guys, we're gonna be talking about some messages you guys have sent me or players you guys want me to to get. So let's get started with that, guys. So I I, I do read every comment, guys. If I don't reply to you, it's because when there's not an option to reply to you. So I don't know. I think that has to do with a glitch uh, with YouTube where I cannot reply to some of you. Or I think what what's going on is that you don't have a Google Plus account. It's just like an old old um, YouTube account, and um, I cannot reply to you because you know YouTube got rid of um, got rid of the uh, old YouTube comments. So it's now it, all comments are based on Google Plus. Uh, so that's probably the reason I cannot uh, respond to you guys because you guys are commenting with the um, old usernames on YouTube. Um, so. Um, be but before that, guys, you guys have comment comment on me to get Gutierrez and Pizarro for the mail fill. If I end up doing that, guys, I will need to get um, I need to I we will definitely will need to um loan some of our of our young players because we are growing now. We have trophies just uh, coming up, superstar guys. So yeah, um, we'll see how that goes, guys, and, and we'll tr I'll try to um get to get into our club. All the players that you guys requested, like you guys saw, guys, you guys asked me to get Talavera, and I did. He's coming in a free loan uh, to Chivas, but this is the end of the first game. Hey guys, so we did we did ended up um, winning against Morelia. We're now in the Copa Libertadores, so hopefully we could win this. Um, it's the first game of the Copa Libertadores in the second. This is gonna be our second time participating on it. Rodriguez with a great save. Then we get a throw in, and right here we're gonna have a very great opportunity. And Chofis Lopez scoring that goal. Another great player, guys. They have been growing for us a lot he was 57 rated guys he's now 68 rated a pretty good player i wonder what's gonna be his overall rating that we're gonna get him to uh he's probably the only player i will not be transferring um anywhere um only we get like new new players but the game did and that one zero guys and our next game was gonna be against um Tijuana. so we were gonna play with our second team right here with starting with Saldivar and all the young players so the Copa Libertadores players would get some rest and right here guys we get a great opportunity with Ramirez Ramirez uh, pass dribbling a, a lot of the players if for some reason guys I think that Ramirez has a pretty good LB, uh, no, tra no touch dribble uh, for some reason. Right here, guys, you guys can see uh, we're scoring a goal with Saldivar making it the 1 0 goal against Tijuana. So, hopefully, guys, we could walk out with this victory in the 90 minutes. They get this great opportunity, but Tijuana couldn't do it. <laughs> So we were gonna go into our another match and the Copa Libertadores. It was gonna be against Deportivo Cali. We were once again in the same in the same group, Deportivo Cali and um, Guadalajara and River play also, guys. So we get this great opportunity in the 90 minute, but we didn't end up scoring any goals, guys. And the game there ended uh zero zero guys. Right here they tried to do one pass. One last opportunity, but yeah, the game ended zero zero, guys. Now we were going into a league game against Querétaro, and we were actually in the last last places of the table, guys. Uh, I think we were in like in the nine and uh, nine A place, and we need to get higher than that because we need to be in the first eight to qualify to the playoffs, guys. So um, right here, Querétaro gets this great opportunity, but uh, La Hur with that save. Um, and then right here, guys, we get an opportunity with Saldivar. P Saldivar passes to uh, our newest signing, Madrigal. And Madrigal with a shot and scoring the 1-0 uh, 
um, putting us up in the lead. But then Querétaro gets this great opportunity header in La Hood with a save and saving us from that. But then um, he got another shot and went went off the of the goal right here, guys. They get another opportunity and what a cross and that's gonna be the equalizer for Querétaro. So the 90 minutes were coming to an end, guys, and the game did end at ace. <laughs> And the 0 0 guys so now we we're gonna go into our next copa libertadores game against river play guys so we were gonna be playing in their home stadium against river play we get this great opportunity right here but great defending by river play but we get we get the ball back another great defending by river play guys in the 90 minutes it was gonna end 0 0 guys not not really happened there anything happened so we were going into our next league game, which it was going to be against Dorados, guys. And right here, we get this great opportunity with Saldivar passing the defense in. That's just not going to go in. And then we get this another opportunity, Saldivar to Madrigal, back to Saldivar, and Saldivar shooting to the goalie. And right here, guys, Dorados gets an opportunity, but Lahur with the save. And then, guys, look at this pass. This pass to Diaz, um, I believe it's Diaz and Araujo with the with the diving, uh, a slight tackle and and giving us uh, giving them a penalty. Uh, so hopefully La Hur could save that and Chapito Sanchez scoring for Dorados. Well, how ironic, guys! Chapito Sanchez was our Chivas player. We decided to sell to sell him, and he is scoring for Dorados as a striker, I guess. And right here, guys, we get another opportunity and passes dribble all the defenders, and we're gonna score that goal goal to make the equalizer, and we're gonna go celebrate with the camera. Angel Saldivar, a pretty good player, has been playing very good uh, for Chivas, guys. Um, so. Uh, yeah, Chivas has pretty young players, guys, that are pretty interesting. So that's why you guys asked me to buy some players. <laughs> we were going to go against Deportivo Cali, but now in their... In, in our home in our home stadium so now we were facing our in our home so right here guys we get a very good opportunity with a through ball to to Lopez I, to Eric Torres I believe not Lopez Eric Torres Eric Torres scoring that goal uh making it a 1-0 guys and then we got a corner kick I like to do this guys because Brizuela is pretty pretty good at passing drib uh, passing dribbling he his dribbling stat is just very good so he just passes every defender with dribbling uh, such a great player putting 2-0 guys and then right here guys with Eric Torres Eric Torres passes to Brizuela and Brizuela with the shot I believe no actually it's Marco Fabian yeah, actually, it was Marco Fabian who scored that guy. Sorry about that. Um, not looking at the names that get today. Um, sorry, guys. Uh, but let's go ahead into this next opportunity with the bicycle. And we shoot that goal, guys. And that's going to be a goal for us. Putting a 4-0. Giving us three points. Very good for us. So, so, um... So that's that's gonna be the end of the game, guys. Winning 4-0. And right now, guys, we're watching also um the next game is gonna be against Leon. So we were gonna be the we're actually the best defense in the in the league right now. Uh, so pretty good guys right here. Um Leon gets this great opportunity and what a goal. Uh, so I have to admit it, guys. I have to admit it. That was a great goal by the new player that's playing for Leon. What a goal. 
But we were not gonna end here, guys. Ramirez stealing the ball. And look at that no touch dribble about Ramirez, guys. Ramirez just has an amazing no touch dribble. He is 64 rated when you play with him. And I do believe his potential is to 75 rated or 74. to face uh, Católica now in their stadium so it was gonna be time for the next Copa Libertadores we were facing them we what a nice pass to Lozano guys and I've been thinking guys should we sell Lozano in the net for the third season do you guys think it's time to get that money for him uh sell him for a around around 18 million see if he goes for that and we could buy probably um other players so should we keep Lozano it's up to you guys um, right here guys we get another opportunity and we're gonna shoot that with Cone Brizuela and Cone scoring that that second goal and putting us 2-0 in the in the game against Catolica and then we get a throw in right here guys and now Gio passes to Arce Arce passes to Torres and Torres scoring that goal to make it a 3 0 against Catolica guys. So we're basically uh, almost qualified to the to the um, playoffs of the Copa Libertadores. And right here guys, nice defending by Dedos Lopez. That game was game was coming to an end guys. We did win 3 0. Now we were in the Liga and we were gonna play against Puebla guys. So um, but you know guys what I decided to go back to my roots. If you guys don't know FIFA 13 I started playing with the 4-3-3, the only 4-3-3 that was in the game with, which it had no CDMs, uh, no cam, just, just two CM, just three CMs, excuse me guys, three CMs, and this was one of the formations that I, that I um, started using in FIFA 12, FIFA 13. If you guys go and watch actually my first video, which it was a giveaway Ronaldo, um, Back in two years ago, when I started my YouTube channel, you guys will see that team that I used to have. It was this formation of 4-3-3. But right here, guys, Puebla gets that opportunity of scoring that goal and putting us um, in the lost. And we don't want to lose, guys. So right here, guys, I don't know how this was not a penalty, but the referee said no penalty for you. And the game is going to end, guys, 1-0, us losing. Um... Losing one zero to Puebla, guys. So we're coming almost to an end, guys. But before we end this, so yeah, guys, I used to run the four three three. I'm been thinking of using the four two three, but there's something that I like about the four two three one also. So um, it has to depend on that, guys. And before I go, guys, would you guys like me to do a Q and A since we reach um two K subscribers, guys? Um, tell me in the comments, guys, and I'll see you next time.